another week of the bandwagon. We're down here in the basement um, recording a show for this fall. Just stay tuned. It's called The Laugh for Laughter. We're down here with one of the cast members. His name is Chad, and of course, you know Velo. Um, just coming in with another week of, uh, again, the bandwagon. We got a lot of topics. First, we want to start off with the NFL lockout or non lockout. That non-lockout. is. How y'all feel about it? It's that? over. It is over. Like I said a few episodes ago, like I told you, E Dub, it's gonna be over. We're gonna have our season, and I'm ready to go. I was kind of skeptical, but um, if you can't divvy up nine billion dollars, <laughs> man, that's rough. true. That's a lot of money, man. We already know what, whose fan he is. That's the shirt. Oh, sorry. Your hands pop back <laughs> so we, we just want to go over some some. Um, Shockers or not shockers, but yeah, some shockers of, of the, stuff yeah. that went on. Yeah, because it, it was like five days, and we had to unravel and get free agents to go different places. People signed different places. So, what's the most shocking signing to you guys? Man, I have to say one of the most shockers is that we didn't keep Sidney Rice here in oh, the Vikings. Big shock, right there. What do you guys think about that? That's. <laughs> I'm not happy. I'm 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 a Giants fan, but I'm a Vikings fan. Seconds, but losing Sidney Rice, somebody a player of that caliber. Man, I don't know how you replace that. He's a, definitely a great athlete. What you think about that, Edo? I'm going to have to say I'm a little bit hurt, but, you know, if he didn't want to sign with us, he had the option to. And, like, you know, we didn't want him or anything like that. We offered him a million dollars less a year than, okay. than the Seahawks. And he, he ultimately made his decision. Um, and who you rather have past you, T. Jagger or, uh, or McNabb, who leads to the Vikings signing? I don't know. I think so I'm in favor of McNabb. On that one. <laughs> <laughs> me, me too. So I don't know if it was about the money or it was, was it about it was just time to move on. Right. Um, of course, it's gonna hurt the sim move. I think, like man, uh, Chad was talking about earlier, that might move to a Marion Barber agent piece of backfield. So that would be really nice. I, on, um, another thing I was wondering about, guys, um, Ray Edwards left too. Well, mm-hmm. I mean. What, was he just a, a stopgap? Was it all Jared Allen, or you think Ray Allen? You think that's a big loss too, or? I think Ray Allen or um, Ray Edwards. Ray, Ray Edwards, Edwards was a product of the system. Okay, pro- yeah. I think he had William Wall, and then he had um, Allen yeah. on the line, of course. And I think Robinson could come in and yeah. probably much do the same thing he did. If not, not that's I'm not true. gonna say better, but I think he's he's worth you know putting up a fight because he left. I really don't that's you true. know shed no tears because he's not right now. That's Definitely. True. I hope that doesn't hurt us too much on I defense. Know. You right, know? right. Yeah. You guys will see. He really didn't do anything. <laughs> he had that one good game against the Saints in, a, in right. the championship game. Other than that, you didn't hear his name. He got penalties and right. put us out of games, and he's just a headache. So I think the people we put in to replace him may do a, a better job. Gotcha. True. Yeah. So let's talk about another shocker from the free agency. Uh, Y'all know my shocker? What is it? I think my shocker would have to be Eagles. Hmm, who? Eagles? Eagle, no, Eagles. Not. Of course, that's the overall shocker for everybody, <laughs> the Eagles. I, I would have to say um, Bush to the Bush to the Dolphins. Huh? Mm. Yeah, that's I didn't true. think the Saints would let him go. Man, they picked up Mark Ingram yeah. right back in the first round. As soon as they did that, uh, what, what Reggie Bush text? Yeah, he did tweet something. He said, it's been nice. Uh, <laughs> nice knowing you. It's been yeah. nice playing with you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so. You know, they got Sproles from San Diego too, right? Oh, okay. They signed I didn't know him that. as well, okay. so I think they, they, they're set back there, but... Reggie Bush and uh, he's out there with uh, LeBron James. Right. <laughs> he right took his talents to South Beach. Yeah. I mean, is that is that what he did? Right. So. He's with the Kardashians now. So. Right. So it's silly. So I think that was a, a a little bit of shocker. Yeah. yeah. Any 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 teams that you'll give like an A to? Who, who picked up a the Patriots. You got to give Ocho the Patriots an A. I mean, you got Ocho. You got Big Daddy Hainsworth. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got some good draft agents, uh, draft age, um, um, they drafted this year. So, I mean, Bill Belichick, the Patriots, they've done well. I mean, I think you got to give them a, a great out for an A. Definitely. What about um, Ocho Single? You think they're going to be able to contain him? Huh? You think they'd be able to, it's you know? Tough, man. It's, it's tough, man. It's tough. Right, right. <laughs> they got Wes Welker, now they got Ocho. Right. I'm just wondering who to, who to pick in fantasy football, you know? Yeah. I don't know who's going to get the most touchdowns. I've seen this team. little thing that said he's, uh, Ocho said he promised he's going to behave. <laughs> Wow. So we gotta just wait and see how they how they act. And I wonder I wonder if he tweeted that because he's a big tw- he likes to go on Twitter and, yeah. and do yeah. all that kind of stuff. I can imagine that. So if everything worked out, I think that might be the be the surprise thing. What's surprising as well is how Green Bay didn't do anything. They haven't signed nobody. Right. Of course, they got Grant and they have uh, the tight end Finley that yeah, Finley, was Jamal injured. Grant. So yep. you could pretty much say if they was on the team now, then they pretty much you know could boost their roster. But other than that, they haven't did anything at all. 
They well, made it to the Super Bowl last year. There's not much they really need to I do. No, I mean. <laughs> To stay I, consistent. I, I, mm-hmm. A lot of teams you don't really go back to back, but I think they got the core group of people that can maybe bring them back. And you know the NFC North is kind of weak, but you know uh, they got you got the top quarterback Aaron Rodgers. So we'll see. We'll see how it works out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I beg to differ about the NFC being weak. You got, okay. You got of course the Bears. Uh, Bears was in a championship game as well, and then you have the Lions. They're up and coming. They got new pieces to their team that could. Possibly Forget make, it, make them better. Yeah. And then, of course, you got the Vikings. If they do anything, you got them going six games out of the, what, 16 games that right. they got to go against division right. opponents that is possibly, obviously, they're going to be 3-3. Three and three. Right. Po- They could possibly be 3-3 three and three out of that out of them six games. So, it might be a tough one for the Packers. I got a question for you guys from uh, from what, what's been going on so far that, that we've all been seeing. You guys got a Super Bowl pick? Or is it too early for you guys? I'm a little bit too biased with my shirt. <laughs> but, you know, I would like for the Big Blue to go back to the Super Bowl. Um, mm-hmm. But, um, like I say, you know, like I, like I bring back about the NFC North, I don't think it's weak, but I just think the NFC East is a little bit tougher, a little bit deeper. The Cowboys, Redskins, Eagles, and Giants. So, But um, I think overall um, Green Bay is the top of the NFC. And then you look at – AFC, I say Steelers or, or Ravens or Patriots, one of those three, or maybe even the Jets. So I hear nothing about my boy Vic and the Eagles. <laughs> you know I, mean? well, I don't like them at all. Hey, we so. gotta wait and see, man. We gotta see how, what they that do. Defense the, gonna and, be crucial. They got they, two of the best yeah. on paper. In the game. On paper, on paper defense. They yeah. paper champions yeah, right now. Right now, <laughs> they paper champions all day long. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say my pick, of course, the Vikings. But if the Vikings gonna go. I might have to go with the Patriots, man. I like him. He's a homer. That's what, that's all right. <laughs> okay. That's okay. I got to say that's Patriots, cool. man. I liked what they got, man. They did what they did last year with who they had. They really didn't have any receivers. They had a rookie tight end. They had somebody they picked up that used to play with them before. I mean, Tom Brady, man, you just got to say. Right. He's an all-star. I'm going to roll with the Eagles, though. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure we're going to see them there. And okay. I think a smart move of this offseason was, of course, signing – um. What's his name again? Payne Manny for ninety million, eighteen a year. And he said, and it, what was fair about what he said? He said, okay, I take the same amount that Brady made, yeah. but if I can't make that and I we need more players, I'd take a cut. He did take a Not cut. Not too many people t- say that. No, no. So he I, actually I did, did take a cut out. though. They yeah. did offer him um, twenty three million. It, it was twenty three. Yeah, it was twenty three. So he took a five million cut a year. Yeah, that's, that's my guy, man. Right that's my boy, Payton. Yeah. My brother, some Payton different play. brother, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So overall, I see we're all happy that, of course, football. Very back. much so. Yes. I mean, I, I like I told Vlad, I thought it was gonna be freaking October or something before we even see the signs of football. I told what's, you, don't worry, man. Yeah, what's gonna be odd is how the schedule is gonna go. From I'm not too sure how it's gonna go. We got preseason. I'm sorry, mini camps for next two weeks, and then we mm-hmm. got a game after that. And then I'm not too sure. If, yeah, the Vikes' first game is August 11th. August 11th. Yeah. In the dome, is the dome going to collapse again? Or <laughs> Man, all that snow last December. This is crazy. We're crazy, so. So we we'll, we shall see. Definitely. Okay, so uh, as you know, I got a chance to meet with Brock Larson before before the before the fight. You know, we got an interview. Got a chance to meet with him. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and go into that interview. Go ahead and check that out real quick, guys. It's Vlad here from the bandwagon here with the Eruption Ring Girls. Ready to see the Brock Larson fight. It should be coming up later tonight. So I'm just going to introduce you guys to them. Uh, we got, uh, what's your name? Nikki. Sarah. Jenna. Sierra. All right. So uh, who are you guys um, cheering for for the, the main event? Ready? Uh, One, two, three. Brock! Bitches! Brock, Brock they cheering right, for you. They with me. They on my side. You can't say that on TV. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. So uh, how long you guys been uh, doing this, this Ring Girls thing? <laughs> I've, I've been doing it maybe on and off for a few years. Three years? Uh, first time. First time? First time. First time as well. Okay. So you guys like it so far? How can you not? We look good. Yeah. We look good. We get free drinks. Free drinks. Okay. All right. So uh, our drink guy. Speaking of it, where is our drink guy? <laughs> All right. So where are you guys from? Um, I'm from Eden Prairie, Blaine. Eden Prairie. Um, but I live in Florida now. Eden Prairie and St. Louis Park. Maple Grove. St. Louis Park. What? All right. Okay. <laughs> Local area. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, um, 
It was definitely nice to meet you guys. We're going to um, get back and get some interviews from Brock and a couple other fighters, and we'll probably get back to you guys later. Sounds good. All right, thanks. Have Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, it's Vlad here. Backstage with Brock Larson. He's getting ready for the uh, main event fight. Should be going on later tonight. Uh, and you are facing Mr. Davila. Davila, so, it is. So just uh, what do you know about your opponent? Uh, Davila is a big, big guy, for one. And then uh, he's got a big right hand. And uh, he's got a good hook. So I'm um, going to avoid that at all costs. Uh, I'm going to throw my left, Southpaw versus conventional. So it's going to be that kind of a battle. Uh, a little bit Rocky Belbo thing going on there a little Rocky bit. Balboa. But, uh, you know, I'm going to take him down, um, get him to the ground, wear him out. Um, and when he gets tired, um, bring him bring him in and uh, choke him out. Choke him out. That's the strategy. You're going to try to get him to tap out? Going to get him to tap out. All right. I want to see some big blows in there. Hope it's a good fight. Yeah. So I uh, definitely appreciate you being with us, letting us get backstage yeah. and yeah. get a chance Thank to you guys. for the fight. Yeah, it's so, good, well, good times. I'm just going to lead to see you later. Right on. Thanks, guys. All right, so we're back. Brock, we appreciate you giving us a chance to meet with you. Sorry about the loss. I mean, you're definitely a good fighter with a record. Now you're 33-6, and six, so I'm looking forward to see your next fight. So uh, other than that, this, other than that, definitely thank everyone for checking out the bandwagon. Definitely hit us up if you have any questions or feedback or whatnot at bandwagon at colliderpictures.com. And see you next time around. Hey, yo. We'll